Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. So let's see uh, the participants who are already ready to start the class. Here we have uh, Jose Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Hello, good evening. Everything okay with you, with your trip, yeah. with your travel? Um, super bad. Okay, very nice. Uh, where did you travel? What country did you visit? Uh, pardon, ¿cómo? Uh, ah, de trabajo. Uh -huh. oh, Guatemala, ciudad de Guatemala. Okay, very nice. How many days? One week, uh, two weeks, three weeks? Four, no, uh, four days. Four days. Okay. Really good. Okay. Good experience. Sí. Okay. I like to hear. Mm. That. Mm -hmm. No. Eh, ¿Qué le digo? Todo super. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Sin Thank you. Palabras. Me quería okay, quedar más tiempo, pero mañana entro a trabajar ya. Yes. Yes. Okay. But at least you could have a, a good trip. Thank you, Jose, for sharing. Here we have Juancito. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how was your day? I'm fine. Okay, fine, okay. Yeah. Relax, because tomorrow, day off, right? Morning. Free day. Yes. So you, ha you have to work tomorrow? Uh, in home. Ah, from home. Yes, from home. Okay, so you're going to have another busy day. Okay. Yes. Well, I hope you can have, uh, you can take advantage of the time, aprovechar el tiempo. So, nice, Juancito. Well, sometimes it happens, a veces así sucede. We have to work some holidays. Okay, Juancito, here we have yeah. also. Uh -huh. And do you have to work just in the morning or depends on you? No, no, no. Uh, all day, eight, wow. seven, uh, five p.m. Okay, well, and, but you have, when you work this kind of dates, uh, you have some other free days, like a compensation? Yes, uh, Saturday. Okay, very Wait. nice. Okay, good. So, okay. Uh, perfect. And here we have, I'm checking uh, the participants who are going to be just listeners. Janet, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you tonight? Very nice, teacher. Very nice, okay, I'd like to hear that. So welcome to the others. Here we have Saul, eh, Abel, Marvin, Flor, Carly, Douglas. Elia and some more, some others who are uh, moving. Other kids, I mean, van de camino. Okay, so uh, to start this, no me estoy despidiendo acá, but here we have this. The main topic of tonight's class is next. Um, bueno, antes que nada comentarles que igual que ya mencionaron en el grupo tomorrow we're not having class ok, no vamos a tener clases mañana así que pueden estar un poco relaxed at night, right? ya pueden relajarse un poco en la noche y si sí, seguimos jueves y viernes ok, so tomorrow no classes, that's really good so we can take advantage of tonight's class and on Thursday aprovechamos ahora y el jueves so and have for obligations. Verb eh, have means tener. Tienes que, tenemos que, tengo que. 
So uh, in this uh, class, we're going to uh, review how for obligations que ya lo hemos visto, uh, digamos, hasta cierto punto, el, 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 el uso del have. Bien, class number two, beginner number four. Do you remember some of these words? A ver si se acuerdan alguna de estas palabras que yo se las presenté ayer. Ok. Janet, you remember one, Juancito? Some devices de estas que vimos ayer. Household devices and appliances. Janet, ¿te recuerdas de una? No, by the moment. Okay, Juancito, and then we go with Saul. Yes, teacher. Okay, Juan, which one? Okay, uh, electric drill. Electric drill, yes, very useful. When you need nails, clouds. Okay, so that's really, really important. Okay, we go with Saul. Okay, and then we go with floor. Um, I say like um, electrical fan. Thank you. We go with floor and then Marvin. I don't know if Florcita is there. If not, we go with Marvin. Aquí estoy, teacher, teacher. Eh, eh, Busca en tu interior, mm. corazón. Ahí será la respuesta, Flor. Come on. Washer. Washer. Washers. Washing oh. machine. Washing machine. Perfect. Thank you. Marvin, and then we go with um, Elia. Um, for example, oven. Yeah. Stove. Perfect. Oven or stove. Yeah. Elia. And then Laura. No, Elia, okay. Laura, uh, any idea? ¿Te recuerdas más o menos? No sé si alcanzaste a ver la imagen ayer, yesterday. Eh, fíjese que ayer no me habían enviado el enlace, hasta hoy me pude unir. No estuve ayer. Es cierto, Laura, ¿qué pasó? No sé, fíjese que yo escribía dos números porque sí recibí el correo. Escribía uh -huh. dos números de inglés corporativo y hasta hoy me contestaron y me enviaron el enlace para unirme a WhatsApp y a la clase. Pero Comprendo. No. Laura, ¿y tienes? ¿Ya estás en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, ahora me uní. Uh -huh. ¿Viste la speaking activity? No, es, no creo que me, vi, me uní después porque vale. solo tengo lo de hoy en la noche que pusieron que, que el tráfico y esto. Ok, vaya, te voy a presentar la imagen. Está fácil lo que vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Además, tú eres, you are very creative, sos creativa. Sé que lo vas a contestar. Um, okay. ya, ya, ya te muestro la okay. actividad. Okay. ok, nice, thank you. Janet, a ver si te acuerdas. Yep. Hey, close items. Ok, thank you. What about Carly? ¿Estás por ahí? Te invoco, Carly. Hi, teacher. ¿Todo bien? ¿Everything okay? ¿In order? Uh, yes, uh, only I, I'm having dinner right now. Uh, okay, enjoy your meal. Electric fan. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, very nice. Perfect. And Elizabeth, do you remember some other? Bien, creo que ya se ya va a comentar Elizabeth. Como siempre, agradeciéndoles que enciendan su cámara cuando estén comiendo. No hay problemas, pues pueden apagar, la verdad. A veces es un poco incómodo, se siente, ¿verdad? Eh, si se van a levantar o cualquier cosa, pueden verdad apagarla y después encenderla, ¿verdad? En el caso, este, cuando sea una emergencia, también pueden apagarla, ¿verdad? Porque este... Me comentan, ¿se re, recuerden que siempre ingresan de inglés corporativo a monitorear la clase. Y si hay muchas cámaras apagadas, pues este, me escriben, me, me hacen ese comentario, ¿verdad? Eh, trato de ser un tanto 
pues eh, comprensivo por algunos casos, pero siempre agradezco ¿verdad? que la mayoría la tengan sentido, ¿verdad? En ciertos momentos de la clase, de que a veces cuesta tener las dos horas, pero es parte de los requisitos. Muy bien. Household devices and appliances. Uh, here we have a lot of things that we use every day. For example, uh, we commonly use, well, television, electric phone, that is really common, especially these days, that is really, really hot, que está haciendo calorcito. Speakers, que ya se viene eh, Navidad, entonces, speakers are, they are going to be like very active. Muy bien, Carlos, nice. You are home now. Muy bien. Y tenemos eso. We already started this, but um, para que lo tenga en cuenta, Lauri, que no lo tenía, esta es speaking activity. Ok. Si tuvieras un negocio, ¿qué sería? No, ¿qué sería? ¿Qué sería? Ok. ¿Qué negocio sería? What product or service? Fíjense bien, ¿qué producto o servicio you would offer? ¿Qué, qué ofrecería? Name of the business, el nombre eh, del negocio, regalito de Dios, or whatever. It could be familiar, individual, or association. O sea, son tres cosas principalmente, ¿ok? What product or service, name of the business, and if eh, that business would be familiar, individual, or association. Depends on you. Así que ahí me van a decir nombres interesantes. Ojalá que no se hagan nombres exóticos. Vamos a ver. Let's imagine. I, maybe some of you have uh, maybe some businesses and that's, that's really positive. Si tienen algunos negocios, that's really good. But if not, I guess at least once in your life you have thought about it. Al menos una vez en la vida han pensado sobre un negocio. I know, at least once, or especially with friends, sometimes we, you talk and you say, well, that would be a good idea to offer this product, to have this kind of business. So, I'm going to ask you later, okay? En un par de segundos les pregunto, but first, eh, Laura, si ¿sí lo copiaste? Yep. Yes. Perfect, thank you. Okay, let's go with this. Useful phrases, useful phrases. Some of them are really known because you, well, you know them. For example, it's up to you. That is a phrase that I show you on the last module. El módulo pasado les enseñé esta. It's up to you. It up, you can say also depends, depends on you. Another form to say it, okay. Depends on you, es más formal. It's up to you, es más informal. But uh, both ways are, are useful. Okay, it's new to me, it's nuevo. Um, that's new to me, it's new to me. Uh, this could be applied not just for products, for objects, but also for topics or some information. For example, um, seahorse, uh, los cabitos de mar. Uh, male seahorses have the babies, they are pregnant, ¿verdad? Los cabitos de mar son los que están, quedan embarazados, ¿verdad? Y ellos son los que gestan, so that's new information. And if a person uh, doesn't know about it, could it be, wow, it's new to me, I didn't know, no, para mí, no lo sabía, so that could be. In case of uh, you listen to some information you didn't know before, one example. Okay. Three, it's a waste of time. Una pérdida de tiempo. Waste es desperdicio o pérdida. Ok. And, and aquí is this. Un punto clave es este. Spend significa gastar. Waste es desperdiciar. Ok. Ahora. Spend money. significa gastar dinero. But when we say, I like, I love to spend time with my family. Cuando decimos spend time with my family or with the family, with friends, ahí no, no, no nos referimos a gastar 
ni a malgastar ni, 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 ni a perder el tiempo, sino que spend time, esta frase en específico significa pasar el tiempo. Por ejemplo, what do you like to do during the day? Mm, I like to spend time with my pets. Me gusta pasar tiempo con mis mascotas. Ok, so that's uh, really, um, really important. Ok, spend time significa uh, pasar el tiempo. Well, it's uh, in no time is en un instante. For example, if your boss asks you, um, Elia, I need your report uh, for this afternoon. Necesito el reporte para esta tarde. Okay, in no time, boss. Puedo decir, en un instante. In all days, en aquellos tiempos, también pueden decir, All those days. Ah, todos aquellos tiempos. All those days. O pueden decir in all days. Los viejos tiempos. For example, you can talk about playing trompo. Uh, I guess. Or kites. Escuchas. So you can remember that. You can say, oh, in all days, uh, playing with friends uh, used to be like very fun. So in all days. Or all those days. In place, en su sitio, it's beside the point. Eso no viene al caso. It's beside the point. In the meantime, esa palabra también se parece a esto. Meanwhile, ok. Esto es la palabra while significa rato. Mean eh, while, but be, meanwhile, it's similar to meantime, okay? In time significa a tiempo. There is a movie with Justin Timberlake in which uh, it is about the future and people don't use money. They use time because they have like time. Well, do everything, it's around time. Todo se trata del tiempo. Es muy interesante esa película. Así se llama, in time, a tiempo. Entonces se trata de que uno debe de canjear eh, minutos, horas de vida. That's it. In vain, en vano. There is a wait in vain. Una canción, it's a Bob Marley's song, Wait in Vain. Esperar en vano, una canción de Bob Marley. Really good. Okay. So here we have 10 useful phrases. I'm going to check the attendance list. And please, you mention one of these. When I called your name, remember always to say hi, present, good evening. And we start with Abel Edenilson. Are you there? Yes, teacher, present. Okay, thank you. Your phrase? It, it's you, to you. It's up to you. Okay, it's up it's to, up you. to you. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, Abby. I don't know if you are there. Okay, so Alexandra is moving. I'm a Sylvia, no. Brenda, I guess is listener. Carlos, hello, Carlos. At home, finally, right? Yes, I have. I have. Okay, perfect. What's your phrase? What? Uh, one of these phrases, pronounce it. Tienes que pronunciar una de estas frases. I guess you have problems with the internet. Quizá hay problemas con el internet. Okay, let's move with Douglas. It's moving. Elia. Good evening, Elia. Hello, teacher. I don't move. Oh, thank you, Douglas. Douglas, are you at home? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, we go with Elia. Hello. Hello there. In vain. In vain. In vain. In vain. Mm -hmm. In Thank vain. you. Thank you. Uh, Flor. Present teacher. Oh. In place. In place. Okay, nice. And we go with Frank. No sé si Frank está por ahí. Okay. Um, Kitela. Mm 
Okay. And let's see. Okay. Mauricio, hello. Present. Okay. It's new to me. Thank you. Juancito. Present, chair. Okay. In time. Okay, easy, right? In time. And Julissa, are you there? Okay. Carly. Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm. In no time. In no time. Lisa, otra vez para la party. Good. Sí. <laughs> ah, hoy sí, verdad. Cuánta sinceridad. Thank you. Laura. Present. Hello. In all days. Thank you. Marvin, you go. Are you there, Marvin? Okay, and uh, what about Janet? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, it's Janet. Good to me. Thank you. Very nice. Saul? Um, seven, it's beside the point. Very nice. We go now with uh, Veronica, Lisette. Present in the meantime. In the meantime, thank you. Y tenemos a Verónica Cerna que igual well, tiene dificultades, no comenta. Ok. Present, sí, pero aquí estoy. <laughs> ok. Bien, entonces solo que. Déjenme ver. Sánchez, Lizeth Sánchez, ¿verdad? Liz, y tenemos a... Uh, iba a modificar el nombre de Verónica y se desconectó. Ok. Let's move with this. Any volunteers, uh, díganme, si son emprendedores. Or if you have some ideas, maybe you want to, to do this year next year okay juancito yes teacher let's listen to juan como hace pistas juancito come on um, if you have a business what would it be mm -hmm. they left us they bakel park today is a uh, hour of white a lot of movement. Okay, and I'm sorry, you said parking parking lot for vehicles. Parqueo? No. No, no, no. Vehicle park. Okay. Or ah, parking. vehicle parts. Parts, okay. Yes. Okay. And what would be the name? ¿Cómo sería el nombre? The name is JC Solution. JC Solutions. Very nice. Yeah, pistol, eh? <laughs> yeah. Te voy a voy a anotar tu número por cualquier cosa. Okay. Okay. The name <laughs> will be. <laughs> okay, familiar, individual. Individual. Yeah, individual. it's better, right? It's better, right? Sí. Yeah, always, always, it's better. Okay, thank you. Do we have okay. some other? Here we have JC Solution, ya lo tiene pensado. In the sí. future or is for real? Es real, ya lo tiene. No, in the, in the future. So, so. Um, so, so. So it means that we can call you and ask yeah. for parts. Okay the beginning okay yes definitely i'm going to ask you for some parts thank you okay pero no te vas allá a changayo verdad a tres partes verdad son son para mí lo mejor es traerlos 
cuando son repuestos así que ya repasaron aquí la 29 y no han encontrado nada, es más fácil traérselo desde Amazon, eBay o de okay. cualquier otro destino, poderlos comprar y se traen más fácil. Ok. Ok, perfect. Good idea. Thank you, Juan. I like to okay. hear those okay. ideas, fresh ideas. Thank you. Okay, and what about uh, we have Saul? Are you ready uh, to answer yeah, this? Okay, mm -hmm. what product or service? Um, I maybe I had a technical service uh, with a computer maintenance uh, for a computer. Computers, software, uh -huh. uh, hardware. Software. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll equipment of the office okay impressors yeah, uh, impressors uh, photocopy laptops. machines yeah, okay yeah. all those yeah that would be a really nice what could it be the name of that business mm, maybe an easy name uh, technical service of okay technical you know, service yeah easier and that would be individual right or Individual. association yeah better it's better right okay what about thank you so Liz you go hi and my personal case I would be like to start my own business as a beauty studio for example okay very interesting what about the name I, I really want to listen to the name it, it, yes I think uh cold um I don't know, Lady in Red, because it's my favorite song. And I would like to transmit a very, or a good experience in my workplace. Okay, it sounds really good, Lady in Red. Even for the, for the, the logo, and mm -hmm. maybe, yes, for all the marketing, that would be really good, Lady in Red. It's very catchy. Catchy yes. cuando se atrapa algo. Mm -hmm. sí. I like it. <laughs> Thank Cuando you. lo escuchan And... ya sabe que es mío. Yes, vaya pues. Descuento, descuento. Entonces cuando necesite el logo, estamos a la orden. Va, eh, es, ya la armamos. Sí, Muchas es. Gracias. Sí, es <laughs> activo. I like that attitude, Juancito. Good. Hacemos de todo y si no lo inventamos. Right, Juancito. Exactly. Thank you, thank you. Ok, list en individual or association or familiar. I prefer individual and if I choose someone and select somebody a uh, family. Okay, maybe a uh, yes, a relative maybe. Okay, but if you can do it individual, could be okay. So thank you, please. Okay, cuando na, la nuestras parejas se enojen, ahí la vamos a llevar. Thank you, Liz. Very yes. nice. Okay, what about any other business? I'd like to hear some other fresh ideas. I guess you have a variety of ideas and that is really positive. What about if we go now with Marvin? Que apareció? Marvin, already Hello, there? Okay, Marvin. Um, Franco speaking, I wouldn't like to have a business because they are too um, understable. And a uh, bad administration can lead them to bankruptcy, algo así. Le pueden llevar la quiebra, and you will lose your everything. <laughs> well, that, that I, the, business, mm -hmm. I prefer to um, like- To have jobs. Mm, with like uh, administrative support, okay. como auditoría externa o contabilidad. Okay, because yes, true. I guess that is really good because uh, you always uh, you always based your work on legal on laws. Te vas en lo legal, right? So yes. that could be work. Y hay bastante trabajo de eso. Yeah, very nice, Marie. Yes. Remember, all businesses are really good, but depends on the administration. That's the key, right? If you have a good administration, you're going to be uh, very nice. Thank you. Marvin, and what if we listen to Janet? Are you ready with your answer? 
Ahorita, teacher. Ok, nice. Escuchemos. If I have a business could be clothing manufacturing, products okay. as t-shirt, shorts, pants, skirts, uh, the name of the business familiar, the name will be Gosem. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Individual or familiar? Or with association? Familiar. 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 Okay. Nice. I guess uh, businesses related to clothes are really positive, good, and you have like good expectations. Yeah. People always are going to use clothes. Gente siempre usa ropa. So that's really good. Thank you, Janet. I yes. like, I like your, your business. And, and we're going to continue later. First, we have this, uh, we have a short conversation between Aaron and Sam. So the conversation says, the new material, material, como la canción de Madonna, material girl, material girl. We all, we all know that song. Todos la conocemos, right? The new material just just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan or Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan or Ivan what they have to do. So maybe if we have some new words, those words could be store, es ubicar, ordenar, okay? And you know, boxes, cajas, Warehouse is bodega, okay? Left, verdad, es, es la máquina, verdad? No sé, I don't know. What, what is the name of that machine, that truck, Juancito? It, there is a machine that you use. I have seen that machine in Price Mart. Yes. You go. Okay. Algo así como estibadora, algo así. Okay, yes. Ah, I'm sorry? Un pallet. Oh, ah, ok. Pallet. Ok, nice. Bueno, el pallet es el cuadro que levanta. Ajá. Mm -hmm. El That's, pallet okay. es el de madera donde está sentada la... La base, casilla. digamos. Ajá. Pero algo así como estivado. Ahora, una cosa así, algo así. La que... gente, así se le conoce como pallet o montacargas. 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 Ajá. Yes, yes, montacarga, yes, yes. Estas son de las palabras que uno, a veces yo, yo las capto en inglés y en español. Sí las conozco, pero las veo y, y así es. Left. But as tell the secretary first, that's it, you say, yes, I'm going to tell Max. Okay, so it's about things that they have to do. And to tell, mencionar a alguien, ¿verdad? ¿Qué deben de hacer? I guess it is not necessary to say it in Spanish. No necessary, creo que todos lo entendemos. But tell Max that he has to store everything. Dile a Max que él debe o tiene que, tiene que ordenar todo. Where does he have to store the boxes? ¿Dónde tiene que ordenar las cajas? Él e Iván tienen que ordenarlas en la bodega. So uh, we use has or have for obligations. Things that are mandatory, cosas que son obligaciones. Mandatory or obligations are synonyms, okay? When you say obligations, sometimes it sounds like you have been pushed. Suena como que se están empujando a hacer algo. But the mandatory is more formal. It's más formal decir that's mandatory, ¿verdad? Es, es como super necesario, obligatorio. Ok, so um, we're going to have a short practice. Vamos a tener una pequeña práctica. I know you already have this material. ¿Todos tienen el material? Pregunta. ¿Verdad? 
Yes, teacher. Sin, ok, si no, Juancito. Ya lo mandé. Nos, nos envía la, la imagen porque a algunos se les dificulta o es más práctico enviar a veces la imagen de las conversations, ok? We're going to practice this in a couple of seconds. Carly, ¿a dónde te fuiste? Te fuiste a echar una manita de gato. Uh, no, no, aquí andaba desde mi trabajo. Okay, no, chaña, eh, estrenando los delineadores que, que platiqué ahí. Yo siento que Carly ya tiene el, bol el bolso aquí, the purse. <risa> el tacón afuera de, 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 de la puerta ya para ir. Pues sí, que mañana es asueto, <risa> no mentira. <risa> Ni voy a salir. Ah, ¿eh? Ajá. Okay. Oye, ya lo dijo, no dijo, Oh, ya, ya. No sale. Ya no aguanta por eso. Ok. Eh, <risa> let's, <risa> let's take um, this conversation. Denle una revisa de la conversación mientras reviso acá. I'm going to check this. Okay, see you in a moment, my dear friends. Please accept the invitation and let's go to practice a little bit. Marvin, ¿es necesario que te conectes? No sé si ya te llegó la invitación.
Okay, we're going to have this short conversation. Maybe we can have the we can have the participation of Laura. Nos ayudas, Laura, please. In company. Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Thank you. Um, with Carlos. Okay, Carlos and Laura. I'm first. Uh, okay. The new, the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use it? They lift? They have to use the lift. But ask and tell and secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan the, what they have to do. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Very easy. Right. Thank you, Laura and uh, Carlos. Okay. Now here we have this. Uh, read the conversation again. Well, it is not necessary. Right. And we're going to circle or underline the correct uh, answer. So if you notice, here we have some words in bold. Tenemos algunas palabras que están en negrita. So let's um, select some of the volunteers for this. It's kind of simple. So here you have four sentences. Volunteers for this. And I'm going to select two. Elia. Elia and then Abel. Okay, Elia. What um, number? Number one. Okay. Max and Ivan have to has to store back boxes. Okay, but you have to select one option. Have to or has to. So um uh, how to. Okay, thank you. Nice. Yes, have to. Si solo fuera uno de ellos, sería has, but in this case, yes, have to. Okay, um, let's listen to Abel. Are you there? Mm, yes, teacher. And then uh, we're going to listen to um, Elizabeth, Abigail. Okay, Abel. Okay. Um, Number three. Okay, three. Sam. Sam does. Does have to help. Thank you. Doesn't have to help. Ya sabemos, ¿verdad? El presente con el doesn't. Very nice. And what about uh, Elizabeth? Okay, if Elizabeth is not ready, let's listen to Saul. Please. Two or four, Saul. Um, two. Okay, please. Aaron um, has the doesn't have to help store the boxes. Perfect. Aaron doesn't have to. Okay, thank you. And for this last one, let's listen to Liz Sanchez, please. Yes, solamente que no alcanzo a ver toda la pantalla. Coach. I'm no sorry. Sé Ajá. Permítame, permítame. I'm sorry. Siempre se me olvida que en esa parte ustedes tienen como más dificultades. ¿Ok? ¿Now? Mm -hmm. sí, sí, sí. Number four, right? Ok, the secretary has to say that they can use the lift. Yeah. Thank you. Has to. Perfect. Ok, now let's move to another part. I'm going to present a picture. Le voy a presentar una imagen for 10 seconds. No, five seconds, cinco segundos. Y me dicen qué palabra recuerdan de aquí. Bueno, tres palabras. Ok. And the first person is la chica del party. Carly. Bye. Three words. 
t-shirt, shoes, dress, uh, okay. jeans. Thank you. Relax. Ya sé que te quieres ir, pero relax. Ok, let's listen to Juancito. A ver, esa memoria fotográfica. Yes. Sheer. Sheer. It's top. Creo que. ¿Cuál? Coat. Sock. Socks. Ok, thank you. Socks. Ok. Ok, and let's listen this time y vamos a escuchar a Mauricio con otra memoria fotográfica. Sí, es que no me daba la señal adentro. Ajá, de la vieja confiable de Mauricio. No, no pudo serio. ver. Ok, y esa no, cara no de yo no fui. No problem, Mauricio. <risa> We understand. Modo víctima. And... Ajá, modo víctima, ¿entendés? Sí. Como cuando pides perdón. Sí. Ok. What if we we'll <risa> listen Vamos a escuchar eh, entonces. Jeans, eh, jumper, creo que decía. Uh -huh. y, y los calcetines, ay, no me acuerdo. Ya ves que si viste. Uh -huh. Bueno, thank you. Elia. Elia se puso la buxa, yo sé. No, 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 no lo vi. Lo siento. Nada. Ok. Sorry. No problem. Eh, Elizabeth, ah, tu señal está, está mal. Ok, no problem. Well, I hope it improves. Creo que, que, que pueda mejorar. It can improve. Saúl, three words that you remember from the cloud, clothes mm -hmm. item. The sweater, sweater, and a swim shirt, and socks, t-shirt, jeans. It'll be very nice yes that's it right here we have this sweater or jumper pajamas socks trousers skirt también tenemos mini skirt verdad dress uh, jeans t-shirt verdad teacher es diferente de t-shirt teacher t-shirt okay shoes y siempre tiene yeah. alumnos que por quererme decir de una question. manera Ajá, uh ya. -huh. Yeah. He escuchado en varios, eh, en varios videos de tiendas, de ropa y todo eso que dicen bottoms en unos rotulitos y se ven los pantalones. O sea, ¿se refieren a qué? A todo lo que va abajo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the like shorts. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, remember, maybe there is an area in, in which you, you can find it, like different Abajo. parts of uh -huh. clothes items. Uh -huh. Okay. And nowadays, it is more common to have trousers and all those for guys, for boys. In the past, it was like just shorts. But now you have for going to the beach or some that are casual, but algunos que son casuales para ir a la playa. It's like different, right? Mm -hmm. And, okay, that's why. I'm currently comprando ropa para, para No, no se ve. <laughs> okay, thank you, Carly. Work sheet. Con I, no con E. Ok. We go this part opposite. Uh, something that I consider like really, really basic. It's to have a extended vocabulary. And one of the main points to have extended vocabulary is to know synonyms and antonyms. Ok. Antonyms. No, Anthony. Ok. Sinónimos y antónimos. If you know uh, synonym and opposite words, it means that you can express a lot of things. You can describe, give opinions, okay? And give even solutions for things. So having opposites, it is very, very important. So I need you to take a look at this, take your time, and tell me the opposites. No digo the opposite, the the opposites okay so if you notice there are 14 adjectives uh, 14 adjetivos okay let's try to look for the opposite words okay i'm going to do one okay eva oh, okay carly goes okay carly 
Dale. And then one seat. What number? Estás hablando con tu conciencia, Carly. No te podemos escuchar. I'm so... Lo acabo de notar. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, the first dry and the opposite is wet. Yep. Wet. Mm -hmm. Wet, dry. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we know wet, but not dry. And that's it. And that's why we have a dryer machine. También que es una secadora. So dry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Juancito. What number? Yes. Heavy. Okay. Tall. Low. Tall. Okay, we can have low, que es bajo, y también podemos decir short. Short, corto. Mm -hmm. Sí, corto, que también significa pequeño. Okay. okay. Yeah, there are, sometimes we have different forms to say. There are synonyms or similar words. Thank you. What if uh, we okay. have uh, who else? I... Laura? Laura está lista. Six. Okay, please. And then Alexander. Small and large. Okay. Small. Yeah. That's it. Y si notan, eh, related to clothes, blouses, or, or shirts, t-shirts, eh, there is S, M, and L. S for small. M for medium and L for large. Uh, sometimes we think that large, it means largo, but large is like big. O sea, large significa grande, no es que significa largo. Para decir largo, tenemos que decir long. Uh -huh. Por eso las camisas son eh, la talla S, talla M, talla L. Y si es X, es L, es extra large, ¿verdad? Que ese es el camino por el que voy yo. Okay, so nice. Uh, small, medium, large, extra large. Okay, perfect. Um, Alexandra, right? Uh, la número 12, teacher. Uh, number 12. What is 12? Mm -hmm. Ugly? No. I'm sorry, uh -huh. beautiful. And what is the opposite? Ugly? Se te corta, creo. No, no te escucho. Ugly. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Ugly. Cuando alguien o oh, es fe, feito, feita. No, Feitas. solo es delicado de la cara, teacher. <risa> <risa> delicado de la cara. No, solo es bello por el interior. No, ah, no. no sé qué por dentro. Ajá, él tiene belleza interior. Ah, belleza bien. económica. No, también bueno, sí, ser. también. Bueno, sí, también. It can be. No, it can be. Sí. Bueno, but what do you prefer? Handsome with money or ugly? Uh, no, handsome and no money and ugly and money. Sabe que, eh, bueno, ese es mi pensar. El dinero sí da felicidad, porque sí bueno. la da. Y el que diga que no, no se ha comprado o no ha disfrutado lo suficiente wow. con el dinero que gana. Y que es mejor que ser uno del dinero, nada más. Ya si es bonito o feo, es la actitud que uno le pone. Porque hay bonitos que tienen mala actitud ah, y feos que tienen buena actitud. Entonces, a mí me tocó término medio. Va, vaya, pero de carne. Ok, pero thank su... you for your philosophy <risa> point. Ya para una ponencia ese... ese... Yo creo que va a ser un tema, Juancito. Sí, este tema. We're going es to discuss. ¿Para qué? Nos dio cuerda. De las compañeras ahí. Ok, we're going to <risa> discuss. ¿Y ahora, y ahora el que es feito y sin dinero, ¿cómo lo hace? Pues sí, el peor. Está difícil. No, pero ¿sabes cuál es el detalle? El modo. La, sí. la actitud que vos pongas. Porque si vos tenés mala actitud, vos te sentís feo. Vos, o sea, todo negativo, vas a expresar negatividad. Y a nadie le gusta la negatividad. Entonces, puedes tener That's muchas true. cosas negativas, superficiales, pero lo que vos tengas por dentro y expreses, ahí tenés el resultado. Gracias. Thank you, Alexandra. Qué profundo. Eso fue... Ya me dejaste pensando. Ok, thank you. Nice. Yes, that, that's true. I consider it is. Like, the attitude is very, very important in life. 
And through that, you can get a lot of things. Puedes obtener muchas cosas. Even you can be president with a positive attitude. Okay. So uh, let's continue. Ya hablamos de los feos. Pero no de las feas. Pero de los feos. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we go in this time. Ah, Mauricio, right? Okay. Uh, number H. Okay, number eight. Seria uh, all. Okay, yes. Young old. Thank you. Who else? We have two, three, four, number five. Ten. Number ten. What you got for number ten? Expensive. Expensive. ¿Qué estaba diciendo, Marvin? El dinero, no sé qué, dice, el dinero da alegría. El dinero da feliz. alegría, no la felicidad. Es que es muy diferente estar alegre wow. que estar feliz, porque la felicidad es un sentimiento que nunca se va. Y el dinero te da alegrías pasajeras. Que, wow. mira, difiero. No importa, yo así lo quiero, no hay problema. Difiero, entonces transferirlo, viejito. <risa> Aquí aceptamos okay. donaciones. <risa> ok, ok. Sí, es cierto, no me porque... Porque si no, tienes no estabilidad, si no tienes estabilidad económica, no tienes para comprar comida, comprar agua, con, pagar casa, agua, luz, esa estabilidad que el dinero te da y que si vos suplís todas esas cosas, pues estás bien, estás tranquilo, te sentís feliz porque pudiste solventar. Pero porque no siempre tuvo y aprecia lo que lo poco que tiene. Es que mira, en si cambio te tiene el todo enfrente y está depresivo si no, y pero todo. si no, si no, yo creo también, que va a haber discordia también, este día. También pienso que eh, si no te conformas con lo poquito que tuviste, o sea, si tenés mucho, tampoco lo vas a disfrutar. Sí, porque mira pero, los que tienen así al frente. De que pero no al final, pero al final, tiempo. vaya, creo que aquí a todos está nos Está sudando, cuesta, está guancito, yo también. Aquí a todos okay. nos cuesta nuestra cosa ganarlas. Pero entonces cuando cumplimos con lo que necesitamos, nos sentimos feliz. Porque que eso nos sí da un, o sea, te mira, da una alegría. Sabiduría. Alexandra, busca la definición de alegría y de felicidad y te vas a dar cuenta que el dinero te da. Sí, sé alegría. que son dos cosas muy distintas. Mira, bueno, creo sí, que, que vamos a dejarlo bien, para otro bien, día porque el tomo 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 caliente tomo estoy sudando. Eh, se va a poner ventilador. Relax, relax, relax. Lo vamos a dejar para. Suena como de Juan. Se puede ir a la playa sin mucho pisto y se disfruta. Que pase el desgraciado. Yo salgo en moto sin pisto y soy feliz. Bueno, vaya. Eh, creo que vamos a tratar ese tema mmm, la otra semana, quizá cuando ya estemos más ¿Sí? Mañana. No, la verdad, la verdad que sí. No, mañana, 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 Okay. Yeah. No, but maybe we. I'm going to give you like a specific question or two uh, speaking activities, and we talk about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like the idea. Para mañana no mañana vamos a estar ocupados. Yes, Abby. Elizabeth. <laughs> Recuerdo que en en el ciclo 2, en el módulo 2, este dentro de las speaking activity estaba eso si el dinero es que estaba esa yo claro, sí claro. pero a este grupo no le di el el el, el, el módulo 2 creo Ajá. sí porque si no se echa toda una clase y nosotros no si no de... hubiera sí, creo que no bastaría una sí, clase claro. para hablar de no, ese tema después van a estar hablando de, de billete billete ok está bien no problem <ríe> bueno yo creo que ya no nos hicieron eh, replantearnos Thank you. We're going to talk about it later. Creo que sí. Bueno, vamos a seguir después. Eh, what about... <laughs> uh, here we have some other words. Liz Sanchez, maybe? Or Abel? Or Douglas? Yes, uh, I choose uh, working. Okay, happy. Easy. Uh, sad? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Douglas? Number, number four. Fast, okay. Um, low, slow, slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. We have just six more words. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What if we listen this time to Carly? No, has pasado, ¿verdad? Janet. Ya pasaste, Carly. Hola, teacher. Ya. Okay. Uh, five. Number five. Uh, fat. Yeah, fat. slim, fat. Estamos ahí. Lightweight. Fat de gordo. Teacher. Para decir este gordito, sabor es chubby. chubby ¿no? Ajá, chubby es como gordito con sabor. Okay, that. Porque fat, fat es como um, fat. ofensivo, es como un sí, insulto. Fat, fat es, es como decirle gordo, ajá, un tanto así. Pueden decir obis, que es obeso, obis, ok. But chubby can be applied for this, ok. También no, otra no, manera no, no. para decir... Eh, en un momento, a ver, uh -huh. solo déjame ver. También podemos decir que alguien es heavy, que es, también está algo llenito de amor. Ok, eh, Abel, you go. Number seven. Uh -huh. It's hot. Ok. Yeah, of course it is. And what about this? Este heavy es pesado, pero no de este, sino que del otro pensado por otra cosa. Interesting, intelligent. No? Ok. Pensado de, de cargo. Ah, ajá. En este caso es light. Algo es liviano. Light. Ok, for interesting. Um, any idea for interesting? Boring. 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 Porque si decimos bored, es aburrido. Que una boring persona está aburrido. Pero si decimos eh, boring, decimos que algo nos aburre. Igual cuando decimos interested, por ejemplo. Interested es que una persona está interesada. Por ejemplo, a person is interested on studying English, en estudiar inglés. Pero si decimos, a person is interesting because when he or she speaks, he talks about uh, very nice topics. Cuando alguien habla de cosas interesantes. Yeah. So that's interesting. Otros interested. And intelligent, we have some others. We can have maybe full. Yeah. Que es algo, pues, como que. Contrario inteligente. Okay. We go. Uh, we continue with this. We already have these countables and uncountables. We don't have problems with this, right? And es que cuando hablamos del dinero, ahí sí, saltamos, right? Interest Creo que money. Number of deudas. Okay, continue with this. If you had a business, what would it be? Vamos con Alexandra, porque estaba hablando de pisto, Alexandra. Ok. Eso, so, gracias. Ok, uh, product, name of the business, familiar, relative. Eh, yep. Fíjese, teacher, que ahorita le cuento. If, if you need you time. Have, ah, okay. mm -hmm. eh, if you have a bucini. Eh, perdón, I have my whole Bucini ceiling. Business, business. Mm -hmm. Así es. Eh, Headman Sandals. Yo te, tuve ese pequeño negocio, emprendimiento, pero okay. fracasé. So, Entonces no. fue como que... No, no fracasé, pero al final eh, no pude como seguir con la inversión. Entonces fue como que ni modo, ¿verdad? Yes, que, that is... Tengo okay. que tener para su, o sea, solventar entonces ya no, no, lo, no lo dejé ahí un tiempo y ahorita estoy viendo si lo retomo también okay. vendía maquillaje y cosas. yes makeup ok ah, sí. thank you yeah it's good experience to, to have some business in my case I worked well I had a, a very small restaurant we used to sell uh, Mexican food And it's really interesting because you learn a lot. You learn uh, about the clients, the administration, that that's the most important part. 
in when you we can have problems. Sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So thank you for your experience, Alexandra. What about Douglas and Elia? Uh, if I have a business, maybe uh, have a hotel. A hotel, okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. A hotel. Uh, the name? The, the, business, the, the name. Number. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This moment, I don't know. Uh, come on, invent one. Um, Dulce sueños, or I don't know. <laughs> what are? Yeah, sweet dreams. Yeah. Great, great dreams. Huh? Okay. <laughs> and individual. You would like to have it yes, individually, indi right? Indi yes, individual. Okay, perfect. Good. What about Elia? And then we go with Mauricio. Um, hello, um, business, sure. the products, um, a number, um, basis, rain, business, um, in the expense of it all. Okay, y, yeah. <laughs> individual. Okay, yes, um, that's, I guess it is very, very important to have clear that. Thank you, Elia. What about... Mauricio and then Laura. Okay, Mauricio. Okay, perdón. Uh, me gustaría, pero. Mm -hmm. uh, I like. Tener, mm -hmm. uh, I like my business work, eh, eh, cultivar, no sé cómo se cultiva. Yes, plant eh, or to have a farm. Mm -hmm. uh, plants and vegetal. Eh, hidroponi eh, es una técnica que okay. he venido estudiando y, y súper, súper, como le digo, natural porque no se utilizan fertilizantes. Ok, yes, so you can, yes, you can cultivate your plant. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y okay, pues, eh. como mi familia es de campo, entonces... So you, you have uh, like, uh, yes, yeah, you have an idea how to do it, but you can implement some other techniques, right? Yes, and you can save water or you can have better results. And that's really important. Thank sí. you. Yes. Okay, very nice, Mauricio. And Laura, please. Um, como digo, un propósito. My my purpose or the purpose my is um, my purpose for the future to import the vehicles i import vehicles okay cars mm -hmm. yes okay yes it's very common here in El salvador yeah okay and would you have a name tendrías un nombre do you have a name for this yes um lauri import Okay, it sounds really interesting. Individual or uh, with association? Mm, individual. Individual, okay, thank you. Um, now, thank you, Laurie. We're going to continue uh, later with the rest. And here we have a listening part. I need you to pay attention and to write, okay? Ideas, phrases, uh, sentences. So try to pay attention. I'm going to prepare the audio. Okay, let's listen the first sign. At about 11 o'clock, my car arrives and takes me to the studio, which is about 10 miles outside the city. I meet the members of the band and we drink a cup of coffee together and talk about the ideas we have for the day in the studio. We never start working in the studio until about midday. Usually we begin with the problems of the previous day. At about 3 in the afternoon we stop for lunch but sometimes we continue recording if we have some good ideas.
Let's listen one more time. At about 11 o'clock, my car arrives and takes me to the studio, which is about 10 miles outside the city. I meet the members of the band and we drink a cup of coffee together and talk about the ideas we have for the day in the studio. We never start working in the studio until about midday. Usually, we begin with the problems of the previous day. At about 3 in the afternoon, we stop for lunch, but sometimes we continue recording if we have some good ideas. Okay. Words, phrases, sentences. You tell me. Raise your hand if you um, write or note something. Juancito. Okay, what you got? Okay, 11 o'clock, my car, studio, uh, outside, the, outside the city, working in the studio, usually, sometimes, good ideas. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Very nice. Okay, well done. Who else? Some other ideas, sentences, words, or phrases? Yes, Marvin, what you got? Okay, for example, 11 o'clock, studio, city, members of the band, ideas, working, afternoon, lunch, recordings, cars, I meet, talk about two good ideas, previous day. Mm, good, a lot of phrases, nice, thank you. And what if we listen this time? Carly, hello there. At about 11 o'clock, my car arrives. I meet the members of the band, drink a cup of coffee, produce day, recording until about midday in the afternoon, and some good idea. Yeah, very nice. I guess if you did it really good. Here we have, look, at about 11 o'clock, yeah, my car arrives and takes me to the studio. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't have new words. And it is kind of easy because you know most of these words. Creo que todas las palabras las conoce. Yeah. Okay, midday is similar to noon. Okay. Entonces, es como mediodía. You can say noon. Por eso se dice afternoon. Después del mediodía es la tarde. Afternoon. Okay. So, noon is similar to midday. Yep. And then, yeah. Okay. No new words. So, now that we have here, uh, the grammar point or the grammar part is this. How to use have for obligations. Okay, here you have some affirmative and negative. I need your help to read uh, some of these sentences, please. And I'm going to call the first, uh, Saul, please. Can you read, uh, I have, I don't have, please. And then Abel. I have to store this package. I don't mm -hmm. have to store this package. Thank you. Okay, uh, Abel, and then we go with Douglas. They. Okay. They have to take everything to warehouse. Mm -hmm. They doesn't have to take everything to the warehouse. Okay, they don't. don't. They don't. Thank don't you. Have. Yes, perfect. Douglas, we, and then Elliot. We have to ask for permission. Perfect. We don't have to ask for permission. Yes, okay. Uh, Elia, please, the truck, and then Alexandra. The truck driver has bring the material, the truck 
driver don't, doesn't have to bring the material. Thank you. Aunque aquí estoy viendo un error. No puede ir el has cuando está el auxiliar. Error de edición. Doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Elia. Error de aquí del libro. Yeah. Uh, the truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. Yeah. Good. And Alexandra, he has. Please. Okay, if Alexandra is not ready, Janet, he has to use. ¿Cuál voy a decir? La última. Mm -hmm. ah, he has to use the lift. He doesn't. How? Has... Ah, otra vez, otra vez equivoco. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he doesn't have How? used the lift. To use the lift, yes, thank you. Voy a revisar este, este material. Okay. And thank you, my friends. No sé si ustedes lo tienen así. Eh, con el, podría, Juancito, podría revisar. No sé si ya lo One corrigieron. Moment, please, teacher. No lo tienes a la mano. Eh, sí, ahorita. Okay. Sí, así está, teacher, con ese error. Así está. Y está siempre en celeste aquí. Lo que pasa es que a veces a los manuales le cambian de color. Aquí ve. Es siempre celeste. Sí, siempre está así, celeste. Ok. Thank you. Um, voy a comunicar esto. Entonces, thank you. Very, yes, very nice. Así está. Ok, sí, pero es un error de, de, de typing, seguramente. Ok, now here we have this. Um, I have to, they have to, en el caso si es él o ella, eh, he has, she has, the boss eh, has, my partner has, eh, si es negativo, don't, pero si en tercera persona utilizamos el doesn't y en lugar del has utilizamos el have, ok, um, so, y aquí lo podemos ver claramente acá, ok, ¿dónde lo podemos ver? Acá, ¿verdad? He has, have, have to. Sí, pero no tenemos negativas acá. Pero igual. Here we have some sentences. No sé si se han dado cuenta, pero yo utilizo bastante el have. Bastante. Ok. Sentences from one to uh, number five. And we're going to use affirmative sentences. Complete the following sentences using the correct form. Have to. Puede ser have to o puede ser has to. If we are talking in third person or an object, si estamos hablando de, de tercera persona, ella o él, pero también de un objeto o algo así, pues vamos a utilizar el has. Okay, think about this. If it is plural, we're going to use have. Si es plural, vamos a utilizar have toda la vida. Okay, take a look at this and you tell me what, um, what sentence you want to complete. Remember, have to or has to. And then you can raise your hand. 25 minutos, 25 minutes, and we finished. Number four, teacher. Okay, please, Marvin. Let's go. Ms. Ponia has to design new models. Yes. Mm -hmm. Has to design new models. Perfect. Who else? Carly, number. The first. Yeah. The company has to buy new material. Thank you. Mm, we have number two, three, and five. Number three two. Message. Yep. You, you partners have to pile, pile up containers. Containers. Mm -hmm. Pile up. O sea, pilar, poner así, como en columna. Yeah, your partners. Si no tuviese la S, your partner, ahí sería has, por tercera persona, tu compañero. But your partners, tu compañero. Yes. Thank you, Douglas. Number three, the agent. Or number five, the group. The group. Number three, teacher. Please. 
the agent have to yeah yes the letter. Yeah. yes uh, como es negativa have to not sign aquí la vamos a cambiar sería don't have ok que es negativa mm -hmm. don't have yeah don't have sign and number five is number five negative number five the group don't have not work until later late so que en este caso sería doesn't Juancito doesn't okay. mm -hmm. porque es un grupo igual cuando decimos family okay. eh, cuando decimos eso family group team son nombres colectivos y son yes. singulares Ajá, el grupo familia ok equipo okay. thank you yes thank you my friends uh, now let's move to the other part ok sigamos con los sueños de los empresarios a ver, you go and then Carly. Okay, teacher. Yeah, please. My idea is my business. I think, I don't know. If I have a business, it will be sales and motorcycle parts. Mm your sales motorcycle parts yes i guess that is a good business because it is increasing the use of motorcycles and yes because of el salvador uh, the number of cars is increasing and the traffic as well is increasing that's why people prefer to use motorcycles and what sí, could be the no name it's yes. more easy Yes, it's easier. It's more fácil. It's easier and cheaper. Más barato. Yeah, it's yes. dangerous as well, but you can you can be like taking uh, care. Okay. And we save time. Yeah. Save time. That's so important. Time. It's also related to money, right? Yeah. Uh, Abel, what could it be the name of that business? The name is Salazar Part. Perfect. And individual, familiar, association? Familiar. Familiar. Mm -hmm. Could it be? Thank you. Let's listen to Carly and then we go with Carlos. Okay, okay Carly, tell us your idea. Okay. I would like to create with my family a place where you can eat pupusas made from vegetables that are ground right there i would call it the corner of the eco pupusa i'd like to have a huge garden with games for children and adults also the customers could see the garden from which we get the food i imagine a special dining room without walls only with a ceiling and many lights away from the urban environment. Mm. I have never heard of something like that. I, I'm trying to imagine that and that sounds that the world. Yeah, it it looks, sounds creative, I think. Yeah. I've been yeah, thinking be about it a few years ago. I don't have money. <laughs> I know, but you can start little by little. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can think of a loan, but I recommend you to start better little by little in lugar de, de un préstamo, right? Yeah. Because the uh, problem the is I'm bad space. at saving money. <laughs> okay. Are are you are well, you're not that good at uh, saving money. <laughs> what about the, the administration? You or maybe one of your mother or no, another person? Mm, it can be my mother because I buy lots of food. Okay. <laughs> Every time I have money. Okay. I spend it on food. Okay. Remember, we have our strengths, tenemos fortalezas, and here we have 
weaknesses, tenemos debilidades. So you have to take advantage of your abilities, your skills, okay? And your mother and, on, and some other person can implement ideas, do things uh, related to their strengths, okay? Well, that's my point of view. We, well, it is difficult that if we do everything, okay? But you can have good employees or good uh, people, okay? Doing, doing uh, yeah. the correct I'm job. I'm thinking of using my brother because he's, he's studying uh, to be a chef. Okay, he's studying to, to be a chef. chef. Okay, yeah. excellent. Thank you, Carly. I like... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I like I like the idea. I I would like to go there. Me gustaría ir. Okay, I hope and you <laughs> all you can eat. Bye. And Carlos, you go. Okay, my long term business will be a record label to help up coming artists discover such skills. Okay, sounds really creative. What about the name? What could it be the name? Uh, Selenium Productions. Mm -hmm. Nice. And individual or association? Uh, individual. Mm -hmm. Do you have experience with that, Carlos? Uh, yes, I'm a, a beginner musician and producer for electronic music in my house and I have my channel on YouTube. Oh, really? Uh, yes. How can we find it? Find it? The, um, the link, you know the link? Oh, uh -huh. okay. send, send, send the link. Yes, of course, okay. well, we can follow you. In the chat? We can? Yeah, yes, yes, yes of okay, course. Okay, okay. Uh, I have uh, a little videos and you share my my channel. Uh, nice. Of course, Carlos, it sounds really good. You can send it here in chat in Zoom or in WhatsApp, okay? Uh, we can follow you. Why not? Perfect. <laughs> yes. uh, I, maybe you, you have good experience and it is uh, really interesting since you are musicians and it is, diffi it is different uh, like mu musician style, composer and producer different areas a lot of work to do yeah okay so very nice carlos thank you and this is my link okay okay we're going to check it and yes why don't we well okay that is is there J. carlos okay we're going to follow it thank you carlos <laughs> thank you okay, for sharing okay. and <laughs> thanks good Bien, en este momento, in this moment, we go to what's the name of the song? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la canción? Um, are you ready, Abel? Yes, teacher. Okay, remember that we have to take uh, care of subject so pronouns, subject so pronouns, possessive, well, adjectives, verbs, okay? So, here you go. You can present. Mm -hmm. You can present the image. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí te quieren seguir, mira, tienen suscriptores ahí pendientes. Lo quieren seguir ahí. Bien, mientras busca. Ok, a ver, vamos a ver. Aparece dicho. Yes. Estamos un poquito ahí de ladito, pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos. 
Así como... Que, que no sale si lo tomo haciendo recto. Ok. Eh, ok. Yes, así ah, lo podemos ver. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. ¿Mm? La digo. Eh, la yes, read it. Léela. Juancito va a creer que la canté, pero... Sí, mínimo. Claro. <ríe> de Juancito. Emocionado. Ok. Ok. Only know you're being high wing. You're feeling low. Only hate the road when you're missing hope. Only know to love where you let it go. Okay, perfect. Can you identify six or seven words? Puedes identificar seis o siete o ocho palabras de ahí? Yes, the no is verb. Verb. Regular or irregular? Regular. Irregular. Okay, continue. The B. Mm -hmm. Irregular verb. Okay. When? The only H word. Okay. Yeah, the only H word. Mm -hmm. Positive mm -hmm. pronoun. Good. In no time expression. Yeah. Interesting. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. I feel pretty nice. We are ready. Good for you. Bien, vamos con eh, Alexandra, ¿estás por ahí? Alexandra. Que Alexandra por rato aparece, desaparece. Ok. What about if we continue with... Carlos, can you present the song for Thursday? El jueves, podrías. Carlos. Hello? ¿Podrías presentar tú un fragmento de una canción? ¿Para el día jueves? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí, no hay problema. Ok, perfecto. Very nice. Similar, así como lo hizo Abel. Ok. Eh, ah, está bien. Si quiere, puede subrayar para. Hay que cantarla. Mire, que ahorita tenemos a Carlitos ahí que puede ser productor. Productor, eh, le pasa. El disco es el, el disco. Lo fuerte, lo fuerte mío no es cantar, sino que es producir. Va, se el, da cuenta, el, ah, hay que producir, entonces hay que, que lo que medio cantamos hay que cantarlas. Ahí en mi Tal canal hay, hay, hay varios videitos ahí que sí, hay hechos de hace años, unos que hice algo recientes. Okay, y no hay como una nice. colaboración yeah, también. Yeah. Thank you, Carlos, sí, le vamos a dar una de revisada. Que, de que salga la nueva estrella. Y va ah. a ser un business, va a ser business de negocio, ¿eh? La estrella o estrellado. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Abel. Very nice. On Thursday, we go with Carlos. Nice. And by now, we're going to have three short conversations. Vamos a tener tres conversaciones cortas. And solo nos quedan qué? Nos quedan diez minutos. Okay. So in this case, um, I need you to take a look at this. Veamos. This is the first. Son tres este, conversaciones. One, two, three. I'm sorry. Ok. Um, so, the first one says, Hey, what's up? Nothing really. I'm throwing a party on Friday. I didn't realize that. You didn't? Nobody has told me anything about the party. Did you want to go? When does it start? At 8 p.m. I'll be there. I'd better see you there. Of course. Number one. Two. What's going with you? Fine. What's going on with you? I'm having a party this Friday. I had no idea. Is that right? I didn't hear anything about it. Can you go? What time? It starts at 8 o'clock. I'll go. I hope that I'll see you there. No doubt. Doubt. And number three. What's going on with you? Fine. What's going on with you? I'm having a party this Friday. I have no idea. Is that right? I didn't hear anything about it. Can you go? What time? It starts at eight o'clock. I'll go. I hope that I'll see you there. 
No doubt. Solo quiero decir la primera. Creo que es la segunda y la tercera. Son es iguales. la misma. Es la misma. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Bueno, entonces serían dos. We have two. Carlitos, ¿me podrías enviar eh, screen de la uno y de la dos? Please. This is number one. Once we found. Yeah, taken, right? Vamos con la dos ahora. Ok. This is number two. We're going to practice a couple of minutes. Practicamos un par de minutos. Remember, recuérdense que vamos a intercambiar, ¿verdad? Si alguien es A, luego intercambian y somos B. Lo importante aquí es practicar, ¿ok? Y lo importante acá es practicar el, el acento en las preguntas y en las respuestas. Que se escuche natural, que se escuche nada forzado. Thank you, Juancito. Ok, see you in a moment. Bye bye. Janet, puedes aceptar la solicitud. También, vamos a ver. Douglas, a ver si.
Okay, now that we are back, it is almost about to finish the class. Ya vamos a terminar la clase, ¿verdad? Creo que se pasó un poco rápida esta clase. Más cuando tratamos de ciertos temas tanto interesantes. So, I'm Más el dinero. Say, el dinero, dinero, dinero. Eh, I'm going to check the tennis list. You say, hi, hello, good evening, goodbye. I'm going to the party. I want to go now. Whatever you want to say. Yes, Carly. And remember, we don't have classes. No se desconecten hasta que termine toda toda la lista, please. No se desconecten. Eh, Abel, hello. Present. Thank you. Alexandra. Present teacher. Eh, Alexandra, que apareciste. Hoy tienes la, la sesión one on one hoy. Ok. Eh, eh, Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, tuviste mala señal, ¿verdad, Abby? Súper mala señal, teacher. Horrible. Ver, no sé qué le pasa. Jueves. Uh -huh. Primero Dios esté bien. <risa> ok. Hasta, hasta ni dije mi tarea. No, pues sí. Ni modo. Sí. Ay, vemos Eso no me gusta porque yo allá lo estuve haciendo toda la tarde. Pobrecito. Pobrecito. Ay, <risa> música sí. con violín de un cangrejo. No, oh, Elizabeth, este, el, el, el jueves. Jueves, jueves. Ok, ok. Ok, perfect. thank you. Carlos, hello there. Sound teacher. Ok, perfect. Douglas. Present teacher. Ok, nice. Elia. Good night, teacher. Good night. And Mauricio. Present. Flor. Good night, teacher. Good night, Juancito. Good night, everybody. Good night. Carly. Hi, teacher. Pasala bien, Carly. Laura. Hi, Present. Marvin. I'm here. Jan Janet, thank you. Saul. Present, Present. teacher. Okay. Lisette Sanchez. Present. Bye. Berito Serna Gutierrez. Present okay. teacher. Bye. Okay. And remember, we don't have classes. No tenemos clases mañana, así que es el jueves. Eh, Lisette, eh, solo que sí te voy a pedir de favor, bueno, no te gusta Serna, no te gusta el apellido Serna. Eh, sí, está bien, no hay ningún problema. Sí, entonces para que te pongas como Verónica Serna, please, please. Bien, nos vemos jueves, descanse, see you on Thursday. Me quedo con Alexandra, bye. See you. Happy Descanse. Bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Ok, Alexandra. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Cómo estás con tus horarios de trabajo? Oye, igual no me cambia, teacher. Yo siempre salgo a las seis de la tarde. Es raro que me saquen a las cinco y media o a las cinco. Vaya, está bien. Ok, entonces, este, siempre te conectarías un poco tarde. O sea, te conectas temprano, pero estarías activa un poco más tarde. Así es, Bye. teacher. Vale, solo dos cosas, Alexandra. Necesito que actives un poco más su cámara, ¿ok? No sé si te da pena serte famosa, pero sí es importante, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Eh, porque ya me comentaron así, ah, ¿verdad? Porque siempre nos monitorean. Eso es uno y ven los videos. Y lo, do, lo segundo es eso, ¿verdad? Que siempre prepara estos speaking activities, ¿ok? okay. Si no puedes al inicio de la clase, eh, puede ser al, ya para finalizar, ¿verdad? Como sea, ¿ok? Este, ¿pudiste ingresar a la plataforma? Sí, con eso no tengo problema. No, no me da ningún problema todavía. Vaya, ok. ¿Tenés dificultades, preguntas con respecto al tema de ahora? Uh, no, lo que sí tengo eh, pregunta es sobre la canción. Todavía no termino de entender eh, 
la gramática que tengo que, que, que bueno, buscar en la letra. Lo importante es esto, mira. Lo que interesa, <risa> y yo lo que considero que más vas a utilizar es esto. Verbos. Uh -huh. Adjetivos. Subject pronouns o estos. Ya. Entonces, ¿qué vas a hacer? Vas uh -huh. a elegir eh, una canción, por ejemplo. Y tengo... No, no tengo una acá. Pero la de ayer voy a poner. Eh, en teoría... Vos ibas mañana, pero como no me contestaste, no estabas activa, le delegué la canción para otra persona. Pero vas a pasar el viernes, ¿ok? Ok. Bueno, ya, no tengo acá. Entonces, lo que puedes hacer es lo siguiente. Ya que tengo acá esto, lo que puedes hacer es subrayar seis palabras. ¿Qué palabra? Uh -huh. Que vos querrás. Puede ser fight, puede ser I, puede ser um, it, puede ser what, uh, show. Ahora, ¿qué vas a hacer con eso? Una uh -huh. vez que subraya, se subraya la lees, lees la letra, pero después me va a decir, bye. I es un subject pronoun. ¿Qué es un subject pronoun? Es lo que aparece en aquí. Ya. Ajá, luego me decís, fight es un verbo, como aquí, ver, verbo, pero como es irregular, voy a decir, fight is irregular verb, ¿ok? Ok. Yeah, it es también subject pronoun, eh, y así, ya, yeah. de acuerdo a esto, lo que te di acá, identifica seis, siete, ocho palabras, ¿ok? Las que vos querrás. Okay. Las que sean más fáciles para ti, no es necesario que te compliques tanto, ¿ya? Pero sí es importante que identificamos las partes gramaticales en una canción. Ah, ok. ¿Hoy sí estamos? Sí, hoy sí, no me había quedado claro, pero sí ya te Bye. <risa> Bye. Espero que te mejores. Hablas buen inglés, Alexander, pero yo sé que te emocionas hablando español. Necesito que hables más inglés, ¿ok? Sí, sí, teacher. Excelente. Entonces nos vemos el jueves, ¿oíste? Descansa. Ok. Feliz noche. Igualmente, bye bye. Gracias.